There is, it plagues us many times because when we want to come do these mitzvot, when we want to do the commandments, when we want to do the right things, we say to ourselves, what's the point of it? I mean, who's even watching? When's the last time Hashem sent me a message and patted me on my back and said, good job, keep on doing it? I mean, nope, I'm doing the mitzvot 40, 50 years of my life. Who's even watching? Who's even looking? So we said earlier, sometimes you see the, the fruits of your labor right away, sometimes you don't. But you know who this plagued also? Yitro. Why do I mention Yitro? Because Balak, which we mentioned earlier, his name was Balak ben Tsipor. Who's this Tsipor? Tsipor, the Zohar HaKadosh says, Tsipor was the son of Yitro. Yitro left the delicacies. He left the riches of the world. He was Kohen Midian. He was, he was the uh, Komer, the priest of Midian. He left it all to go and convert. Everybody tells him, you off your rocker? You going to convert? You know what you have over here? You're going to become a Jewish person? You're leaving everything behind? You're leaving, you're leaving everything, the pleasures of life, you're leaving to become a Jewish person? And he got mocked, and he actually had those thoughts himself. What am I doing? Am I doing the right thing? But what happens, Rabotai? What happens at the end of the day? Who comes out of Yitro Tsepor? Who comes out of Tsepor Balak? Who comes out of Balak? David Melech, Melech HaMashiach. So sometimes we get discouraged. Sometimes we say, what's the point of even doing a mitzvot? What's the point? I mean, how many mitzvot are there? But today it's so easy to do a mitzvah. It's so easy. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.